Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. This is Chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. So today we are talking about my favorite highlighters for the summer and I've got a good amount of highlighters for you all. I have some powder products, I have some cream products, I also have a couple of affordable products as well. So let's get right into this video but before we do that, thank you so much for taking some time and spending it with me today. If you are new, I'd love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad and let's get right into this video. So first, we're not even gonna hesitate. We're gonna get right on into it. The number one highlighter that I absolutely adore for the summer. I'm talking about like, I almost reserve this highlighter strictly for the summer because of its glossiness, the glow, the sheen, the shine. Ugh. It is the Ciati Dewy Stick. So I have mine in the shade Gleam. And this is not a like, you know, pretty popular product. And then, and what I mean by that is I haven't seen too many people talk about it, but it is a stick that you roll up like so, and when swatched on the skin. Y'all, look, look at that. Look at the glow, look at the sheen, look at the sparkle. It is the perfect highlighter for the summer. It does have kind of um, a creamy, balmy texture. And so this is one that when I just want glow, you know, just effortless glow here, this is one that I reach for. Like I said, I really do reserve this for the summer. This is what it looks like a little more blended out on the back of the hand, but I absolutely love this. I would even comfortably say, comfortably say this is probably my favorite highlighter to wear in the summer. I can say that. Next, I'll talk about the highlighters I'm wearing on my face. So the highlighters I applied here and down my T-zone. First, I lay down Miss Char Girl. We've got the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beauty Light Wand and Pillow Talk Medium. Let me tell you, let me, let me just. Now, I don't like this sponge applicator because it looks kind of dirty, but you twist it, um, you can twist it open and close. Twist it open and you just squeeze it. And this shade is so stunning, especially if you have tan to deeper complexions. They do have other shades of this particular light wand. But this one right here is my absolute favorite, especially like I said, for the summer. I love peachy, pinky, golden highlighters for the summertime. And so that's the base highlight that I have on. It is so glossy. It looks like glass on the skin. You can also wear it almost as a blush, especially this particular shade that um, I'm talking about today. The other highlighter that I have on that I topped this Pillow Talk Medium one with is, this is actually a blush and a highlighter palette from Kosas. So this is in the shade Helios, and this is the lighter one. If you didn't know, with Kosas and their blush and highlighter compacts, they have their light version and then their intense version, and the intense version has deeper pigmentation for deeper complexions. So on my cheeks, I'm actually wearing this cream blush, which is right here, and then I topped the glow wand with this highlighter shade, and oh my goodness, this, this is another palette duo. Um, that I like to reserve for the summer because, and you'll, I mean, these are highlighters, so of course we're talking about a glow, but these products that I'm showing you give you like an exceptional glow. So this is swatches of the two. Sometimes I will wear this blush shade almost as a bronzer if I just want a really like um, glowy and uh, uh, like a wet bronzer type of look. So I'll just kind of bring it up the sides of my cheekbones and then I'll add the actual highlighter on top. Today I kept it right here on the cheeks. I have another like traditional bronzer on my uh, cheeks. I'm wearing the Kosas Baked Bronzers and I'm wearing both the medium and the deep shade from actual bronzer. But these highlighters together, the one from the Kosas and Charlotte Tilbury, I'm loving just this extra glowiness on the cheeks. Like it is just beautiful. And in my opinion, you should glow every day. You should glow every day. But in the summertime, it's just like, I feel the glow, right? I feel the glow. So I want my makeup to also emulate what I feel in the summertime. So I thought, Two from Merit. These are their highlighting balm sticks and I have two shades, Bounce and Kava. So 
These are really, really pretty, very simplistic and very sheer. So these are highlighters that I like to wear when I actually don't have foundation on. And I'm literally like, I'm going out the house. I just want to put a little highlight on and like lip gloss. That's it. These are the types of highlighters I'll reach for because they're so sheer, but they are going to add a pop to the cheeks. So this is the shade Bounce right here and this is the shade Kava. So as you can see, they're very sheer in their texture. They're also very light in their pigmentation, so these are not gonna be the best highlighters if you have deeper complexions, but they are really, really pretty for people who don't like an intense highlight, but they just want the tops of the cheeks to pop or they want their actual cheeks to pop with just a nice, beautiful, once again, wet type of glow. So I really do like these. And like I said, these are ones that I reach for when I'm really doing like no makeup, but I want a little pop. Now one that there's plenty of shades in and it can definitely work for lighter complexions to deeper complexions is this liquid highlighter by Rare Beauty. So this is in the shade Transcend and this is more of like a rose toned pinky shade, pinky shade, excuse me. And this is beautiful. So here's that shade right here. This one kind of shade wise reminds me a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury um, light wand in the shade Pillow Talk. This particular shade by Rare Beauty is lighter, but they have a similar tone of like that pinky, pinky type of base to it. Very, very pretty, blends effortlessly into the skin. It's also one of those types of highlighters that I will and can wear without a base, like an actual traditional foundation base. I've definitely worn this without any makeup, topped it on the tops of my cheeks, and it's just beautiful and it's stunning. I know that this is a highlighter that I will reach for once again, like spring, summer months. Not saying that I can't wear this in the winter, but I shift to another type of glow in the winter. This is a summer glow product for me. I have a couple of these cream highlighter sticks from Surat, but my favorite one for the summer, just because of the shade, is Dua. So let's do a little swatch right here. And look at, look at it, look at her. She's stunning. Now this one, the texture is a definitely a little more thick in its creaminess, but still extremely creamy, extremely blendable. As you saw with the swatch, it looks almost blended into my arm and that's just applying it right and directly from the applicator. So extremely, extremely blendable and creamy, but just a little thicker in its formulation compared to the Merit highlighters right here, just to give you a comparison. But I love this. This is one that I can apply directly onto the skin, or if I want it to not be as intense, because this can go intense, I'll just rub my finger on the top and then tap it onto the tops of the cheeks, and it is beautiful. Sticking with some more cream products, we've got two by Lila B. So these are their Glisten Glow Skin Illuminators, and I have two shades. This shade right here is Be Captivating, and this is the deeper of the two shades that I have. Once again, a beautiful cream highlighter. Now this one is definitely a little, um, I don't want to say stiff, because I don't want you to think like it's not going to move at all, but it's definitely a little more firm in its formulation compared to the Surat one that I just showed you. But still, as you can see, applies effortlessly into the skin. This formulation, though, I think applies the best with your finger just because of how it is. And like I said, it's just a little more firm. Um, so your finger and your body heat is going to definitely warm it up and whip it together. So when you apply it onto the cheeks, it's like perfection. This shade right here is called Be Enchanting. Both of these shades actually do work really well against my complexion. Um, so if you're around my shade, you can wear both. If you are deeper than me, then I would stick with Be Captivating. So here is the shade Be Enchanting. But look how smooth and just 
beautiful that looks against the arm. It's just, the formulation is just really stunning. These also are more of a cream to powder type of formulation, which is why the, like I said, the creaminess is not as like silky as maybe the Sarad or the Ciate and things like that, because it has more of like a cream to powder formulation, but it is nonetheless stunning and definitely doesn't have to be set because it has a cream to powder type of formulation. So here is the cream highlighter from Westman Atelier. And this is in the shade Peau de Peche. She is beautiful. So she's gonna be a little more emollient than the Lila B that I just showed you. And there's only one shade in this particular highlighter in this formulation so far. So, no, there's there's actually a couple of shades in this formulation from Westman Atelier. So if this particular shade looks like one that may not work for you or just, you know, it may not be your shade of choice, definitely check out the other shades. Um, but I love it. And when it when I say it looks like glass on the skin, oh, it looks like glass on the skin. Like you turn your head and no matter who you're talking to, they they will have to ask like, what is that on your cheeks? Can you just fill me in on the glow? Beautiful, beautiful. And then the last cream product that I have is by Salt New York. So this is a palette that I actually made from them. Um, I have two cream blushes and these are the two cream highlighters that I wanna talk about. These highlighters are, once again, highlighters that you can wear either without any foundation or on top of foundation. I forgot the shade name, so I will list the shade names um, on the screen here, but this is the first shade swatch. This is a deeper type of highlighter, so it's gonna work really beautifully against deeper skin. And this is the lighter shade that I have. Beautiful formulation, glides effortlessly onto the skin. All of these cream highlighters glide effortlessly onto the skin and they all make your skin just look so hydrated, so juicy, just glass-like, water-like, just scrumptious, scrumptious. Um, so I definitely want to pick up more products from Salt New York because the formulations of their blushes and their highlighters, and they also have contours and bronzer shades, it's just stunning. Now on to powder highlighters. So first, starting with Mava Pat. It's her Divine Glow Highlighter in Golden Nectar. So this is what she looks like. She did release this highlighter with the launch of her blushes. And this is stunning. I love this highlighter because it's that it has that pinky gold shift to it. And like I mentioned earlier, I love me a pinky golden peachy highlighter for the summer. Like I just... It just works so well against tanned skin, and I just don't think it gets any better than that. The formulation of this highlighter is just silky smooth. I think it's the silkiest highlighter that she has come out with yet, and it is just beautiful. Like, it is stunning. The next highlighter, I think we could all say this is the highlighter that just made people it fall in love with highlighter. We gotta have a little Becca Champagne Pop. Oh, I mean, I don't even need to talk about her too much. If you know Becca Champagne Pop, then you know Becca Champagne Pop, and that's what it is. This highlighter is just a beautiful classic champagne with, I think, a nice hint of like, almost like a peachiness to it. It is stunning, and I love that this highlighter works for legit, I wanna say every complexion out there. I mean. It, is, it has such a range to it. I think this is still one of their best highlighters and not just because of its popularity, but because of just the shade. And then of course, the formulation of Becca's highlighters. Oh, I am truly going to miss that formulation, you know, when Becca does close its doors and then I run out of my Becca highlighters. Um, but yes, love that highlighter. Another one that I have to give kudos to is a Tom Ford Duo. This is in Reflex Guilt. This highlighter, this highlighter duo is just amazing. Um, so this is both of the shades swatched. And even though these are powder highlighters, they look like cream and like a gloss on the cheeks. Just the way that they allow light to sit and capture them, oh, it's just amazing. Like, I, it took me a while to purchase this highlighter and I actually just asked for it for Christmas because I was just like, let me just 
I, I want it so bad, let me just ask for it. I'm mad that I waited so long to get it because it is truly, in my opinion, worth the money with how it looks on the skin and it's just so complimentary, so beautiful on the skin. Then we have some highlighters by Dior. The two that I wanna highlight, we first have one of the newer shades and this is in Peach Dune. So this is one of the newer releases from Dior. And like I mentioned before, I'm always here for a peachy highlight. So this one, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to get it. Oh, look at that. It's just so beautiful. And then the second one that I have, it's in the shade 03. And this is just like a pure, beautiful gold highlighter that I think looks really complimentary on tan to deeper skin and also for a beautiful summer type of glow like you just can't go wrong with this and of course the formulation is just so smooth and so silky like these highlighters look really great against the skin some affordable ones i have are by range beauty so these are their dual eye and highlighters and I have three shades. I have Frosé, which is like this pinky, golden, peachy shade. Then I have Sun Kissed right here, which looks beautiful on deeper skin. And then I have No Shade. Um, so let me swatch all three of them really quickly. So first we have No Shade. This is a loose powder formulation. And the formula is going to be so silky smooth. Like you don't even feel like you're putting any highlighter on your face until you look at your face and you're like, Oh, there you are. Stunning. These also do work really nicely on the eye as eyeshadows. Whenever I apply them to the eye, I just wet my brush so that the brush can pick the powder up and lay it down really nicely. And they look beautiful. Sunkissed. Look at that. Just stunning. And each one of these are $9.99. You can purchase them from the Range Beauty website or you can purchase them from Target. And then lastly, we have Frosé. Frosé was my first shade and I fell in love with it, just like I said, for its peachy pink golden hue to it. Love these. And like I said, they're definitely um, highlighters that can be used on the eye, but extremely affordable, but give you the most glow, like glow to the gods glow. I looked this palette up recently to make sure it was even still a bit available. And when it when I looked it up, it was still available and it was on sale. Um, this is the Beach Cosmetics Glow It In Grease Blush and Highlighter Palette. You guys, these blushes and highlighters are stunning. This is $14.99 full price. I purchased this, I wanna say a couple years ago. And the formulations of, of these highlighters and these blushes, but more so the highlighters, definitely on par with other high-end highlighters that I have. So we first have Athens right here. Then we have Melos. And then lastly, Olympia. Look how smooth and rich this highlighter pigmentation is. I can't get over it. And as much as I've decluttered my highlighters and my makeup, this one has withstood every declutter. She will continue to withstand it because of how beautiful these highlighters look. And the formulation is just stunning. It is definitely one of the few affordable products that I still have left in my collection. Definitely not one that I'm gonna get rid of anytime soon because it's just beautiful. And the last highlighters that I wanna talk about are by Fenty Beauty. I really, really love their Diamond Balm formulation. And although some of these are not available anymore because they were a limited edition, if you are ever interested in the Diamond Balm formulation, I think the summertime or like special event is the best time to wear them. This is the original one, How Many Carrots? And I do have this in a mini size. So here is a quick little swatch of it. It has no base to it, but so it will work for any complexion. And the sparkle and the sheen and the shine that you get is just, it's remarkable. It's definitely not an everyday highlighter, unless that's just the type of highlighters you like to wear. But for me, these are the highlighters that I reserve for special events or the summer. One that is just perfection for summer is going to be this one in Cognac Candy. I wanna say this one is still available um, if it's not, I do apologize, but if it is still available, I will definitely have a link down below. And this one has a little bit more of a base to it, but nonetheless, 
still can work for multiple complexions because the base is still very transparent compared to, you know, a traditional highlighter. I love taking Cognac Candy and putting it on top of an already like golden type of highlighter. Chef's kiss. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that I shared with you some highlighters that maybe you haven't tried or maybe highlighters that are sparking your interest to give a try. We still have a good amount of summer left. So if you're interested in any of these products, definitely check them out. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite highlighters are to wear in the summer because our girl can never have too much glow. I'd love to check those out. And if you made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, Come on, girl. Come on. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel because we'd love to have you. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.